Shalom, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makakadash, double honors to the elders of the Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the elected nation of Israel, and to you, speckled bird, Israelites that are scattered abroad, that look like the heathen nations. And I also want to give a Shalom to all you brothers and sisters that may be listening to these videos. And Shalom to all you brothers that are out there in the highways and byways doing the work of the Lord in these last days. So y'all say Shalom. And I also want to mention that this video is only for the Israelites. And the Israelites are who you call today Black, Hispanic, Native American, Cuban, Puerto Rican, Jamaican, Dominican, um, Haitian, Guatemalans, the Panamanians. Those are the Israelites. Always have been and always will be. Um, come to get you with this video on uh, the app called Newsbreak. I always do um, basically videos from Newsbreak because it's a good, reliable source to do videos from. And uh, as y'all can see on the screen, it says at least 1,000 dead in an earthquake in Afghanistan. You know, in, uh, in Afghanistan, that's the um, country that's in the you know so-called Middle East. And you got a lot of, I believe you got like a lot of Ishmaelites live over there. Some, I think some uh, Elamites, Hamites, Edomites. Of course, you know, you got Jake. We're scattered everywhere too, you know, but... I don't, I don't know if we're mainly, you know, in that land, in, a, in the land of Afghanistan, but either way, you know, um, it's it, it's judgment, you see, and the, the Lord is in control of this judgment, and uh, things like this are signs from Yahweh Shai, you know, Yahweh Shai is who the word literally calls Jesus, and uh, he told you in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter, that um, these things will be going on, like these earthquakes and stuff like that, you know. Esau, you know, if you don't know, Esau is, uh, he's uh, the biblical nationality of the so-called white man, you know. You know, Esau caused these things, natural, so-called natural disasters, which, you know, they're sent from the Heavenly Father, you know, through his son, Yahweh Shai. And uh, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 7. It says, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there should be famines and pestilences and earthquakes. It says in diverse places, all these things are the beginning of sorrows. You see? And this is a sign that the Lord is judging the earth. This is a sign that the Lord is coming back, you know, to deliver the Israelites, the elect, you know, on this side. You see? This is this is how you know that the Lord is judging the earth, man. And, uh, you know, a thousand is, it's, in my opinion, I would say this is a big number, but... Not, not like if you compare it to like a billion people or a million, that's not a big number at all, or even a hundred thousand, that's nothing. But that's still a lot of people to die from an earthquake. That's probably the biggest number I've ever heard of people, you know, dying from an earthquake. That's that's a huge amount of people, you know. Imagine if it was like 50,000 or 100,000, that's a lot of people that die from an earthquake. You know, the Lord is, the Lord is terrible, man, you know. Um, I want to get this in the book of Psalms. Um, chapter nine, you know, because the the Lord is uh known by His judgment which He executeth. Um, I'm gonna start at verse fifteen. It says the heathen are sunk down in the pit that they have made, and the net which they hid is their own foot taken. You see, because a lot of these nations, man, you know they. They come up against us, you know, all these nations have had a hand in our slavery, not just Esau. Tells you that in the book of Psalms, chapter 83, you know, it says, uh, verse 16, this is the point. It says, the Lord is known by the judgment which he executeth, the wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. You see? So this is how our Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, is known. This is how you know that there is a creator, you know, that there is a power above you to be feared, man. You know, and mainly this is for the Israelites, because the Lord said in the book of Psalms 119, um, 147, I believe that is. I haven't brought this out in a well. Here, no, it's not. It's uh, Psalms 147, verse 19. I got it, I got it backwards. Psalms chapter 147, verse 19. It says, um, He showeth his word unto Jacob, and his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. As for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise you, the Lord. So, ultimately, these other nations don't know the Lord. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, when everything, you know, settles down, you know, so to speak, um, 
these nations are gonna know that there is a higher power that that are that's doing these things to them. You know, they don't fully understand now, but they're gonna eventually know, especially when they see a so called black man, you know, cracking the clouds, coming with the uh, you know, like Esau calls them uh, UFOs, but we know them to be as the chariots of the Lord. You know, the angels are driving those vehicles. You know, because the Lord said this in the Book of Revelations, right? Revelation chapter one and verse seven. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, which are chariots, so-called UFOs, and that every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all the countries of the earth shall well because of him, even so, amen. You see? So, that's where they're going to really know that there is a, a higher power that's not wood and stone, because a lot of these different heathen nations, they worship, you know, statues, they worship men, they, they worship animals, you know? <laughs> they make up their own gods, man, so they don't, they don't know the Lord, man, you know? But, you know, um, and a lot of them, will they're going to pray to their gods after certain things like that happen. But that's not the, the, the true God, you know, that, that does those things. The true God that does these things is Yahweh Yahweh the God of the Israelites. You see, um, if I can find this scripture in the book of Psalms, the Lord is terrible. Because I said that at the beginning of this video, if I can find it. Because I forgot where it was. Um... Where is it at? It's a lot like I'm trying to find it. It says he's terrible. Uh, type it in. See if I find I know I know it's one of the songs, but I just forgot exactly where it is, so I typed it in. Number uh There we go. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 47, and verse 2. It says, For the Lord most high is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. You see? Hey man, and, and that's that's a terrible thing, man, for people to die of an earthquake, man, because the Lord, He's in control of everything, man. You know, he doesn't just do good like these heathens, you know, or like these uh, jakes and these churches believe in, man. You know, guys go all the time. He doesn't do evil. The Lord, the Lord controls both sides. Let's get that in the book of Isaiah, the 45th chapter. I don't want this lesson to be that long, so I'm going to try not to go that long. Because um, I probably plan on doing another lesson right after this or something else. Because that's really what my spirit was leading towards, but... um. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, and verse 7. It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. You see? So the Lord is the one that does these things, man. You know, and Satan is controlled by the Lord. You know, the Lord operates both sides. That's why he's called omnipotent. You know, omni means you, uh, you, you, the uh, all power. You know, you control both sides. You know? Without one, without one of them, you wouldn't have the other. You see, there's a perfect balance with the Lord. Let's get that in uh, Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 1. It says, A false balance is an abomination to the, to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. You see? So, hey man, you know, if the Lord didn't do, you know, evil, it would be a false balance. And if the Lord just did evil all the time, it'd be a false balance. So the Lord has both. You know, and he's justified in both because he's the Lord. You know, we can't speak up against the Lord. We're just earth and ashes. You see, um, there's another scripture I wanted to get. I think that was in Psalms 2. Um, let me get. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get second Ezra chapter nine, and I'll probably uh close out because I, like I said, I didn't want this to be, uh, um, a, lo a long lesson. I'm gonna get this to the book of second Ezra chapter nine and verse one. It says, "He answered me then and said, Measure thou the times diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand." That is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which you made. And imagine the times is seeing 
you know, what prophecies are taking place. Like you watching the news, you know, you stand on top of current events and then you seeing what events that are on the news is taking is taking place. You see where in the scriptures it links up, you know, with what's going on in the world. That's how you measure the times, man. And that's what we're doing in this truth and this faith. We're occupied in prophecies. We're up on current events. You know, we're, we're, we know what's going on. We're on our watchtower, you know. And uh, this is how we know that the Lord is visiting the earth because um, it says this in verse 3. It says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, and that's what this uh, article, you know, was about. It says, and upwards of the people in the world, there should thou well understand that the Most High spoke of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. You see? So, hey, man, this is how we know that the Lord is coming back. Like it says in the book of Matthew, chapter 24. It, those are all the signs that you will know that the Lord is, is visiting the earth. You know? He's visiting the earth through plagues. And, and the earthquake is, is one plague. It's one plague. It's not just a disease, you know, that's going to attack you, you know, um, physically. You know, it's, it's going to be natural disasters. It's going to be all types of different things, you know, that the Lord is going to use to show that, hey, he's He's judging this earth, man. He's judging this world. A lot of people are dying, you know. And then, you know, at the end all, be all, after, you know, Jacob's shovel pops off, you know, the MOTB is introduced, then Yahweh is going to show up physically, and then every eye is going to see him. You know, and that's, and that's going to be it. You know, after the elect gets beamed up, that's going to be it, you know. Verse 5, it says, For like is all that is made in the world at the beginning and the end, and the end is manifest, you see? And this is a sign that the end is manifest, man, because this is a huge number, man. A thousand people dead? Maybe, like, I think I usually hear, like, when, when stuff like that, you know, goes on over there in the so-called Middle East or in the other part of the earth, you don't hear about this many people dying from the earthquake. That's a lot of people. A thousand people is a lot of people. You know, but compared to a billion, it's not a, a lot of people. But in general speaking, it is a lot of people. That's a lot of people. You know, it's not like a tsunami or something came through and, you know, wiped out the, the whole entire city. You know, but a thousand people is a lot of people, man. And we're in a time of great death. You know, we're in that time, man. You know, so, hey, stay prayed up, man. You know, keep reading. Hey, go out there on the highways and byways, you know, be on fire. You know, pray fast, you know. You know, keep staying in the spirit, man, because we got to be hot for you. How about you, Shaw, or else hey, it's over, man. And we don't want that to happen. You see, but I'm going to close out. Um, Like I said, I didn't want this video to be that long. So I'm going to close out. And uh, I plan on, you know, Lord willing, probably doing another lesson after this. And it's probably going to be longer. But, uh, you know, we'll see what the spirit holds. But I'm going to close out. I'm going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Shemel Shai, by Shemel Kakadash, Deba Arsa, Elders, Apostles, Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. I'm going to say Shalom, Wah, Baba, Baba.